What's up, guys? Oh, hey. No, it's stupid. I don't want to sound like an idiot. Hey, guys. <laughs> no. Hello. What's up? It's Pterodactyl Tactics. Salutations, everyone. Welcome to my channel, where there will be joy, laughter, excitement, horror, suspense, foul language, but mainly car shit. It's Pterodactyl Tactics. My name's Mark. I'm gonna do things my way, of course, but uh, let me tell you guys what this channel is gonna be about. Um, it's gonna be about my specific builds, my cars, why I choose the parts that I choose, um, why I decide to, how I decide actually to build the cars and what the process is and the level of detail and attention uh, that goes from me uh, into these builds, the relationships that I've built with the shops that are building it, my friends. I want you guys to get to know a little bit about me, my personality, um, kind of just how I am and uh, and and on top of everything else, I want to show you guys be, I want you guys to be the first uh, to see all the new stuff that I'm doing. Um, it's a lot easier for me to give all the detail in a YouTube video that's, uh, you know, X amount of length versus a post a bunch of stuff on my Instagram or, uh, you know, on my story or on my feed. I, I, I don't want to post a hundred different posts just to explain the level of detail, what you guys are going to get here uh, in regards to the builds that I'm doing. So uh, that's one of the main reasons why I'm here. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, this specific video, uh, what you guys can expect is uh, I want to go over my cars. I'm building four cars at the moment, four cars that are actual builds. Those four cars are the Huracan, the S15, the NSX, and the Supra. I'm gonna give a recap of each car and then what parts I'm expecting and why it's in the shop. What, what am I doing to it? What are we waiting for so that you guys can constantly see updates and kind of seeing how things get done. I hope you guys enjoy the channel. Stay tuned for more. Um, and uh, the next video that I have is going to be the very first startup of the 2JZ Supra. It's the first in the world. So first in the world on the street. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you guys smash that subscribe button because it'll show me that you guys want to see more. So thanks again. Love you guys. Alright guys, here we are, here's the NSX at the moment at my boy's shop, AR Motorworks. This is uh, one of my really close boys, he specializes in all BBS stuff. He is a BBS plug. And my boy's FF over here, my boy's Sebastian's full carbon GTR. Check this thing out, full carbon. Everything. El Carbon. And then my boy Rob's 458 GT3. Sick ass titanium exhaust. This one's a little bit different than Danny's. Danny P, if you guys know who he is. He's also a friend. This one's a little different. Anyways, back to the NSX. <clears throat> so I want to tell you guys how I'm building this car, what's left. I wanna show you guys why I purchased the things that I purchased or the specific parts that I decide to use. For me, I'd rather spend the money and get a, high, a higher quality product uh, versus get a, I wouldn't call it a replica, but get a cheaper product. Um, and the reason for that is uh, number one, Generally speaking, you get what you pay for, but more importantly, resale value is a lot better. I mean, in, in this day and age, if you know somebody that knows somebody, you're gonna get a deal on stuff like this, like BBSs or like Rocket Bunny or stuff like that. And, and when you do, when it comes time to resell the product, if you ever wanna resell it, um, then you can. You know, and, and a lot of the times, the parts that I've got and that I've resold, 
I made a little bit of profit on it. Another reason is because I grew up in the car show era where every little part on your car matters and they judge you and, and um, uh, they qualify you with points based on the brand or, uh, that you have on your car. Basically, almost all my cars are built Japanese style spec because that's the culture that I, the car culture that I actually grew up on. I don't like when people look at the car and be like, you know what, the car is dope, but he should have went with these wheels. And when you, when, when someone that's knowledgeable in the industry says something like that, generally speaking, they're gonna they're gonna tell you to go with wheels or or a brand that's either a name brand. Um, or something that's higher quality and I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear stuff like that So I, I tend to do stuff to the cars where people can't really talk uh, But that's just my mentality. So I'm not suggesting that you guys do the same Everyone has their own way that they want to build their cars, which is totally cool with me <clears throat> with this NSX This is the story behind it uh, a buddy of mine uh, and myself who started building this years ago and back then we had a different budget. Um, it was a lot less and um, we had a different uh, mindset for the car. Starting with the front of the car, it does have a rocket bunny kit on already and it's already painted grigio to us so it's really dirty. So uh, after all this stuff, we're going to um, get it fully paint corrected and stuff like that. And, and my boys at LTMW actually did the body work and paint. Uh, so shout out to Long. As you can see right now, it's on coilovers. It's not max low setting right now but there is a wheel gap, okay? Now, this setup right now is 17, 18 uh, uh, LMs, it's staggered. And that's usually how NSX is run. But if you guys notice, the front lip is already, is already pretty low. And if I try to close this wheel gap, like I do with every single one of my builds, I wanna make sure the stance is right, then, then this is gonna hit the floor. And more importantly, if I close the wheel gap here, well, my rear diffuser's off right now, but if you guys saw that, then it would definitely hit the floor. And, and this, I don't want to run like this. There's only one real fix, and that's to get bigger wheels. So I'm going to change the setup from 17, 18. I'm just going to go 19s all the way, because uh, especially with BBS LMs, uh, if it's a 19 inch wheel, then the face is going to be one inch lower always because it's a step lip as you can see there's a step lip here so <clears throat> i'm going to change it to a full 19s so the face is going to be 18 inch face it'll actually be nice because you can see the project new brakes a little bit more because these these are 16 inch faces so it's kind of covering the caliper anyway but if i change this setup to 19s i can get a bigger tire bigger wheel it'll feel fill that wheel gap more without me having to lower the car to do so. So it's gonna really help the drivability of the car. So that's one thing that we're doing here. Uh, my boy at AR Motorworks, Ron, um, he's building me a new set. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, uh, what I'm gonna do is there's some empty holes there. Uh, I'm just gonna fill it up with some nice high quality mesh. Okay. Um, over here, it's pretty exposed. So what I'm thinking is kind of almost mimic the LP1000 and build like a little duct. As you can see, the floor is right there. So the wing right now, uh, the uprights are getting, um, I'm getting titanium done. Okay. So I want titanium uprights. It's based, the exterior is basically done. I just basically need some wheels. I'm gonna add a cup kit onto the car so that I can raise the car um, when I want to over speed bumps and stuff. Engine, at the moment it's, um, this car had a lot of miles, over 100,000 miles. So um, it's fully rebuilt, like the internals, it's all fully, fully rebuilt, but it's stock, but it's fully rebuilt. So I gotta decide if I'm gonna turbo this car or I could swap the K20 in here. It's very popular nowadays, but um, since I spent a lot of money just rebuilding this original motor, I might just keep it like that, just for nostalgic uh, purposes. I love getting shipments of parts. This, this NSX has been a nightmare because a lot of these parts are discontinued, like AC condenser, these are like vents for the AC, just like little stuff that I didn't think I needed 
when I first started building the car and then turns out I want AC. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's a good idea to replace their AC condenser on older cars, this is a 93. Um, it, it gets rid of that bad, weird fart smell. Uh, so I, I'm the only one that should be farting in my car. So um, I, you know, I wanna start fresh with it just, I want to fart as much as I want, so we're going to replace that. But these are all little parts. I'll show you where all these things go. And there's a cool thing about the Rocket Bunny kit here is that the hood opens like that. Pretty nuts. The theme for this car is Grigio Telesto paint, and then we have the white cage, and then it's going to be like red and black interior. I kind of want to, I wouldn't say mimic, but I really like the NSX Type R, the, the red carpet that they have in there. So. I'm having a custom uh, fab guy come in here. It's already in the works. He's gonna do full red carpet here. He's gonna cover all this in full red carpet, all this in full red carpet, and it's gonna make the interior pop. So I'll keep you guys posted what we're gonna keep doing with this car. And uh, for those of you that are interested in this slash restoration slash full build of this NSX, just stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. And um, I'll show you guys the outcome of this of this thing. All right, peace. I think most of you guys know me for this car specifically, but I kind of want to run down. If those of you who don't know this car and don't know what's done to it, I kind of want to run down it really quick. Just like a quick rundown, and I want to tell you guys what I'm doing to it. This is a LP 580-2. It's a rear-wheel drive Huracan. Um, I have an authentic Super Trofeo version one uh, body kit on there. Um, everything is has been changed besides the doors and the roof. So every single body panel has been changed. Um, it's I have a Sheepy Race twin turbo kit. I have JRZ coilovers with a cup kit on top of it. Uh, it's an umbrella auto design cup kit uh, bbs lmrs um you know exhaust and a bunch of carbon kevlar stuff and um you know that's basically it this as as i'm building this car um there's a lot of things that i always leave that i've left untouched just because usually i'm in a rush or I gotta get to like some sort of a show or a rally or something like that. So I haven't really had time to just let the car sit and like finish exactly what I want done to it uh, until now. Now I have time. I don't have any much like big things coming up. Um, this is one of the four cars that I have to manage the build on. So I wanna kind of run down what I'm gonna do um, and what needs to get done just so you guys kind of follow how I'm managing this build. So first of all, this Sheepy Race uh, Twin Turbo Kit is insane. It's the fastest car that I've ever owned. Um, I haven't lost to anyone uh, yet in this specific stage um, with my highest map. I mean, we're talking like 720, McLaren 720s with full bolt-ons and race gas and stuff. Uh, this car will beat those cars. <laughs> Um, so it's very, very, very fast and it hooks. And I don't, I actually don't have any cooling problems as far as like my intake air temperature and all that stuff is really, I mean, it's good. Um, or else Alex wouldn't let this car leave. Uh, when I say Alex, I mean Chibi Race. I am also redoing my exhaust. So uh, I want to update it exhaust. This was like the very first one uh, from Sheepy, but I'm going to do something completely different. My intake. So intake to the turbos right now i have a car i have a carbon air box it's, it's not in here i uh i could show you guys in a second but i have a carbon air box that's attached to this and it's supposed to feed air but I, I think it's more optimal just to have a nice intake filter right here or i can even bring it all the way down to over here coming out from there i don't know let me know if you guys have any designs if any there's any designers watching right now um send me some sort of a design and maybe i'll incorporate it to be honest because right now this is the uh you know development stage uh, of, of the build at the moment so but but i do know that those are the main things that i'm doing new exhaust new cooling re uh, um relocating the the tank getting a new tank 
I'll probably change these heat exchangers uh, and um, they're really dirty and probably change those out and just cleaning the car up a little bit and then I'm gonna wrap it a, a, a new color so once the whole thing's done I also have titanium uprights for my wing um, so that's gonna be pretty sick so when I do the whole new exhaust it's gonna be all crazy titanium just crazy colors and then the uprights for the wing that's gonna we're gonna burn that that's gonna be crazy titanium so the car is gonna look pretty nuts that's how I think the final form of the car is gonna be um, and we'll go from there maybe like new brake calipers color or something like that I want to engage with you guys a lot and um, kind of take your guys's you know not necessarily advice because part of this channel is gonna be about me giving you guys advice on on maybe how to build your guys's cars if you have any questions i'd be happy to go over how i would build uh how i would build any one of your cars i'd i'd be more than happy to do that but basically just opinion like what do you guys think um serious engineering oh you did tell me about this this is from europe yeah you know these guys you told me that they're making you something such a that's crazy with the machines at cnc and everything. <laughs> yeah 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 what the fuck? damn zyrus is godlike bro Crazy. These guys, are, these guys are crazy. If you guys want to buy their LP1200, hit me up. It's for your wing. Oh. It's, yeah. It's what holds the wing. Yeah. But the difference between this. What you had. And what I have is what? Weight? No. Dollar? Nah. Titanium? Titanium. So they made, they made me, let me see this. These guys made me titanium. So you gonna burn this? Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. But we gotta clean it from fingerprints. I know. So these guys made me titanium uprights. Oh, so it's gonna match the exhaust. So the plan is I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a brand new exhaust. It's gonna be crazy. And we're gonna burn the hell out of it. And then we're gonna burn these uprights. It's gonna be Most pretty tasteful sick. human being in cars. It's gonna be you sick. Have them right here. Tell me what you guys think. Little, little touches and details is... Small little details. Kong guys, twin turbo Huracan guys. If you guys want to buy this airbox, please hit me up. It's carbon airbox. Um, it's pretty sick. I just have no use for it. I'm going to go a different direction with my intake setup on uh, the turbo, but if you're interested, let me know. I actually prefer them if they cross over each other. Like two snakes having sex, basically. Oh my God, you know what you can do? You, you know how that's how that's how snakes this have one, sex. This one, this one, put it down here, and this one put this one down here. Wrap it like that. But but what's gonna go in the middle? There's so much room over here. Listen, this one, go all the way down here. This one, go all the way down here, and two ways get come out in the middle. That'll be sick. Can you do that? You can do anything. Man. Okay. Can you? You can do anything. He's just skinny. This uh, guy, skinny this guy, this shot. guy is the best titanium welder. In that America, I know. In America. Yeah, he only does pre-work for one guy. <laughs> Guess who? Finding Nick. No. <laughs> oh, I'm Mark. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real though. So, since this is gonna come down there and that's gonna come down here, where you're gonna shine, pun intended, is right. if you if if you use this area or the back area, uh, so we could see the piping. Does that make sense? And then the wastegate, these are so small that you can... And this one down here. So, so like an X. And right. this one that the wastegate come out both down here. My 412 here with the boys. What do you guys think? Should I have went uh, Rocket Bunny? What's up, Charles? Oh. My arm? I got surgery. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Like a week ago. Oh, really? For what? I was jerking off. Too much? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, what are we doing? We're doing a lot. What are we doing, Sam? We're almost done. Can you take this down to Brian? Who? Brian. Brian. Yeah. Why? Well, uh, the fab shop. That was. Ryan. Ryan. He's coming here. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Why? What's What's wrong with it? We need to make a bracket here for the fan. One, two here, and two here. Okay. And 
the fence down, the rod is down. And if he does a bracket, how much power will I have? 999. 999, okay. <laughs> Alright guys. This is the status of the Super right now. For those of you guys that don't know what this car is or or what I'm actually doing to it and why. Uh, this is my 2020 um, A90 Mark V uh, Supra. Um, car had 400 miles in it and I decided to take the motor out. In fact, the way I like to build my cars is I like to um, visualize the full build before I even purchase the car. And if I like the way that it looks in my head and if no one's done it before or not the way that I'd like it done, um, then I will take upon that challenge and I'll do it. Uh, that's usually how I like to build my cars. Um, so anyway, with this car, I decided to throw a 2JZ in there um, for many reasons. Uh, not, not to say anything bad about the B58. I, I'm just a fan of nostalgia. Um, and this motor in this chassis, um, I just felt like it was the right move. Uh, for many reasons, when this first when this car came out, there was no six-speed. Uh, I know you can just made a six-speed transmission to the actual B58, but it's still a BMW motor. I wanted to just make this as Toyota as as much as possible. And even though the engine's older technology, it has a lot of parts for it, and it looks very pretty. So, and it hasn't been done on the street. There's only two drift cars that I know in Japan that have this motor, but the, none. There are no street cars of this motor. So. That was my goal behind it. And on top of everything else, um, I'm a whore for JDM parts. Uh, and it, as you guys saw with the NSX, I kind of went over why I get these parts versus just some you know, uh, uh, off-brand parts and things like that. It's because this is how I grew up. I grew up in the car show industry. I like to keep things period correct. If, if the car is Japanese, I want to get as much Japanese and rare parts as possible that I can. Um, of course, I can't do that for the whole build, but I'd like to do that as much as possible. So we have a fully built 2JZ. I got it, it, everything. The, the head is fully ported and polished. It's got a five angle valve job. I got cams, I have rods, pistons, everything. Intake manifold, injectors, um, single turbo manifold. Uh, dual wastegate, twin scroll turbo, HKS GT3 4R turbo. I have all this titanium piping, all these titanium good goodies, HKS cam gears. Um, I even, I even got these titanium bolts from Titanium Works. It's pretty nice. It looks good in the sun. I got this ARC intercooler, super rare, discontinued company. It's probably not as functional as the new intercoolers out nowadays, but this is just some JDM shit, so it's the best. Uh, 412 has done an amazing job so far. Fab Child, uh, he's my boy Ryan. He, he actually did all this titanium piping and um, he actually did the motor mounts and everything. So it's a 2JZ motor, basically fully built, single turbo, and it's mated with a E46 six speed M3 get drag transmission on the inside, so it is gonna be six speed. Um, uh, I know I said I wanna keep this as Toyota as possible, but the BMW transmission fit perfectly uh, inside the chassis of this car. It bolts right up, it lines right up, the, the E46 M3 uh, transmission mount mounts right up. So it was perfect, and I just thought it was kind of funny just to kind of put that, and to be honest, I do want to get track transmission. I want a transmission that can hold a thousand wheel horsepower, no problem. Um, so I, I had a few options, and I decided to go with the E46 M3. I've actually had an E46 M3 before, so those transmissions are great. They hold a lot of power, so that's what we're going with. Um, the color combo, and by the way, I have, I have a couple other cool parts here. Here's the valve cover. This is an extra titanium bar that was custom made. So the, the, it's gonna look really pretty and we're wire tucking everything. So all these wires are gonna be gone. It's gonna be real nice. Um, the color scheme with this car, every, every car obviously has their own scheme and the color scheme that I'm going for is basically this Nardo gray, okay, with teal. That's the color scheme. I'm basically going with Nardo gray and teal. Um, and then both of those car colors combined, th th there's a big palette that you can use um, 
and you put all the colors together and it looks pretty wild. You know, as you can see as from the titanium burnt, you're getting all these colors, gold, gold matches the turbo, blue, blue matches this, there's purple, purple matches that, a little bit of teal in there. It, it, it's gonna come together really nicely, I think so. Um, and uh, I have Project Mew front brakes. We're waiting on the, sp we're waiting on the spindle, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. And we come around this way, we have the teal roll cage. These are the pro my project new brakes we're waiting for. Some brake pads there, the HKS exhaust, titanium tip there. Let me tell tell you guys what we're waiting on, okay, to start this car. In the next video, uh, I'm gonna make sure that the next video is the first startup of this car, so you guys are gonna see it first. But things that we're waiting on to start the car. We're gonna put an external surge tank here from Aftermarket Industries, really, really great product. Um, a, a surge tank is really, really good to have on, on street cars or even drift cars because uh, it, you wanna make sure that you don't lose fuel while you're turning or you, you don't wanna rob the car from fuel. You wanna make sure that an external surge tank has fuel in there at all times so you don't rob the car of fuel at any time. And once we put the trunk back together, that means we can bolt this roll cage from underneath the car. Once we do that, we put the seats in. Then we, once we put the seats in, we put the pedals. The Actually, we'll put the pedals first, the shifter, the seats. Then we'll put the gauge cluster and the interior will be done. And then I also got these too. The Takata harnesses. They'll go good. And over here, we're waiting for the front spindles. I had to get custom brackets made for the for the brakes because the brakes don't, they're not for an A90. Um, we're using my uh, Project Mew brakes from uh, my S15. that I took, so we're doing that. Um, I have HKS Hypermax 4 coilovers that we just put on. Um, it's basically it. I got some EVS fenders over there, actually, right here. Just some aesthetic stuff. I don't know if you guys seen these before, but they're super nice. They're really cool. And then I have the Saibon wing that we're gonna put on as well. This, the look I'm going for this car is gonna be like OEM plus. Uh, what that means is like, it's gonna basically look like a stock car on the outside, but it's gonna have a little bit of goodies just to make it look kind of aggressive. I'm going for like the older super look, the Mark IV look, just cause I have a Mark IV motor. So that's kind of like the look I'm going for. I think it's really timeless and classic. 2J, I like that plate. These are the drive shaft shop axles. They got lifetime warranty. So if I break them, which with a thousand wheel to this car, six speed, I might. But these are pretty heavy duty. But if I break them, they replace them. No charge. So shout out to drive shaft shop. We still gotta put these seats in. These grid low maxes. You guys know me, you guys know I love Kevlar. Carbon Kevlar in the rear. Give me a nice touch. So uh, that's probably gonna be stage one. We'll see how it goes. I'm not really a fan of all the wide body kits out there for this car yet, but if I need wider tires, wider traction, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Um, my boy TJ Hunt's kit is really, really cool. Uh, maybe I'll go a route like that um, one day, but for right now, I wanna keep it stock body seeing what I can push with it. I want to drift this car. I want to go crazy with this car. So we're going to get a lot of content in this car, um, getting this bad boy sideways and just making sure this thing makes as much sound as possible. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Next video, guaranteed, is going to be this car first startup for you guys to see for the first time. So thanks for tuning in. Peace.